probably recognize that as Mary Had a Little Lamb by Stevie Ray Vaughan, also by Buddy Guy, um, depending on uh, uh, who, uh, who we think probably first uh, arranged it from the, uh, from the original poem. Uh, probably Buddy Guy. Anyway, uh, what we're talking about this morning is 12-bar blues format again. We're kind of reverting back uh, to um, do some remedial work uh, and counting 12-bar blues. Uh, so... Mary Had a Little Lamb is in E. Uh, your primary chords are going to be your 1, which is E, your 4, which is A, and your 5, which is B. Now, these are all going to be 7 chords, uh, so they're going to have those extensions on them. Uh, your first chord here, we're going to get to the little intro riff in a second, but um, the first chord here is going to be E7, up here, stemming off the 7th fret with your first finger on the G sharp on the 4th string. Second, uh, second finger, seventh fret, fifth string. Third string, seventh fret, third string. And then we have our sharp nine, which is an E minor. Your regular nine is gonna be an E minor, it's gonna be an F sharp. We're gonna take that and bump it up to G, calling it a sharp nine. And that's the F set, the, uh, the, the seventh sharp nine, which uh, a lot of people commonly refer to as a Hendrix chord because that's your purple haze chord. So, that's one chord. Your four chord is your A7. We're gonna do it down in open, open position. A, E, G natural, C sharp. That G natural is your seven right there. So your second finger and your third finger are on the second frets of the fourth finger and uh, second, uh, fourth string and second string respectively. And then your five, your five chord, which is your B, your B7. So you have B, E sharp, sorry, B, D sharp. G, and, uh, A. You don't hit the top string, so that's your B7. So you have your one chord, which is here. You have your four, one, two, three, four, and then five, one. So that's our chord structure for Mary Had a Little Lamb. And it's... Now, that intro riff is going to be... You're starting on the fifth string, second fret, open four string, Open A string, second string A string, fifth. Open fifth string again, third fret sixth string, and down to E, which is your root. Now this little riff is lead into each chord, when you change the chords, when you go up to the A, which is your 4, and you go up to your B, which is your 5. That little riff is your lead into each time. Mm -hmm. 